Yo, what's up guys? It's CJ here for another Thankful Thursday. Today's Thankful Thursday I'm very proud of, and uh, I should be because it's about myself. Or rather, ourselves. I am very thankful for being myself. And what I mean by this is just representing yourself and for all of your different qualities that you have, rather than just sheltering it to a few things that you like, a few different aspects that you think that people will find appealing. The reason I say this, <clears throat> my apologies, the reason I say this is because, well, first and foremost, there's the advice video to go along with this, so you can always check that out because that's good too. But anyway, the reason why I say this is because it's so important to be yourself. Like, you are not fulfilled if you don't act like yourself. And you won't have, like, friends that actually know you for who you are if you're not yourself. You know what I mean? So, I just think it's so important for people to act like themselves and for all the different aspects about themselves rather than just being, like, this facade that a lot of people like to do. They just like to show off, hey, so I do this and I'm on this sports team and I like these people and that makes me cool to you, right? And then they don't show, like, who they truly are, if that makes any sense. So I think that it's just so important for people to represent all of their values. So like, I'm, I'm a mixed bag of all sorts of crazy, let's be honest right now. If you've seen my videos, it's all good. I mean like I have the Pokemon rap video, I have these videos that I'm trying to be like all real talk series with you guys, I'm doing my advice videos, it's just like, there's a lot of different aspects to me and I want to make sure that I represent them well, including my bearded side aspect, which come on... Uh, Halloween, it might be changing the status of that a little bit because you know there's no shave November and then of course how I like to do is make a clean slate anyway. <laughs> not moving on to that video quite yet though. So I just, if you're acting like yourself, you're gonna be more fulfilled with yourself and you'll meet people who are like-minded to you. Like if I didn't show off my anime geeky side to everybody that, well, not everybody that I meet because not everybody sees all the sides of me, but that's because they just don't get to know me very well. But yeah, it's that if I don't show that side of me, then how am I expecting anybody else to see it and appreciate it? You know what I mean? Like that's true in all aspects of yourself, just because there's something about you, like, that's a little bit weird or a little bit off. Like, hey, you have six toes? No big deal to me, man. It's all good. You have uh, six fingers, too? Yeah, sure, whatever. Are you blind? Yeah, that, it doesn't matter. That's just who you are. You shouldn't hide who you are from the world because it's... Everybody's so unique, and it's just so beautiful. I mean, if we were all the same sort of people, where would be the fun in that? I mean, honestly, I would probably be cool with being the roommate of myself, because I think I'd hang out with myself a lot. Like, if there were two of me, and it'd be really cool, we'd just be like, bro fist! And then I'd just be like, bro fist back! And then it'd be all good. But, yeah, outside of that, I wouldn't really like to have another person who is the same as me around anyway. And honestly, I would probably get jealous of myself for all of my successes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I would be uh, jealous of myself in other aspects as well, but you know, whatever. Um, I just think that because of the variety of people that we have in this world and what aspects of them that they like to show, it makes it so much more of a learning experience in life. Like if all of the people I met were pretty much the same kind of person, then what would you learn from them? Honestly, I mean like, because of all the people showing off their passions and their talents, it's like, yeah, I want to learn how to do that. Or it's like, hey, I really appreciate that. I want to find something that I can do to the same extent as what they like to do. And it's just, it's a more fulfilling lifestyle that way if you act like yourself. And again, for all aspects of yourself, not just what some people might want to see. I can understand censoring yourself to an extent because not everybody wants to see all the different parts of you but don't let that always hold you back from doing what you love because you're your own person you're gonna grow in your own way I definitely have disagreed with some of the things that my friends have done but in most cases even if it's something that I don't entirely agree with it's part of their personality and it's part of how they have grown into who they are today and if I was to stifle that from them eh, I don't know 
they could turn out very differently. Which in some cases is a good thing, I will admit that. It's sometimes good to help your friends out with things such as that, but only more so on the dangerous side of things. Which I guess is defined differently by different people. But hey, you know, it's fun. <laughs> um, totally just lost my train of thought. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, yourself. So being yourself, very important. Highlight that a million times over. And I'm proud of who I am, even though I don't like... Okay, how can I word this without seeming it bad? Okay. Just because there are parts about me that I don't particularly like or I don't particularly think are perfect, that's fine because it's like there's always room for improvement, you know? Be just because I don't have six-pack chiseled abs doesn't mean that I'm not a complete person, you know? It's like my goals are different from other people's, so I have different things that I've worked on rather than my rock-solid abs, which I don't have. But yeah, um, you've just chosen to have different goals, and that's not a bad thing. In some cases, I wish that I would have changed my goals earlier in life, but then again, I don't know the person that I would be without them. Like, if some of the bad stuff that happened to me, well, some of the bad stuff that happened to me didn't happen to me, then I wouldn't have nearly the same insight that I've had for being able to assist my friends, make these videos, anything like that. It's definitely changed me and shaped me in the person who you are. So yeah, passions, be yourself, treat yourself, and uh, yeah, any other modernist comments that I can make about that. Word. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and yeah, uh, like I talked about with my advice video, if you have any suggestions on things that you want me to talk about to you guys, that'd be awesome, because like I have a list, but I'm still working on it, want to make it bigger, want to make it better, want to make it awesome, but yeah, I'm apparently doing this a lot today, because this is cool, right? Totally. Well, maybe not this, because no. Anyway, <laughs> I hope that you guys are having a great day, and I can't wait to see you guys on my next video, which should be coming up shortly. Alright guys, I shall see you around, and as always, keep smiling. Peace.